Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and two years ago I spoke to this man about this same event. We're back here at the Garden of Dreams. You're the spokesperson. Talk to me about what this event means to you. Well, I've been a part of it for a lot of years now. Um, it's just a, a great uh, feeling for us players to be here and, and connecting with all the fans. Uh, the main reason we're all are here is to support the Garden Greens Foundation. It's a wonderful organization that helps kids in, in, in New York area that face obstacles in, in life. And uh, we do a lot of different things throughout the year. But tonight is about spreading the awareness about the organization, but also raising a lot of money to, to uh, you know, support all the different things we do throughout the year. One of the things I love is the fans get to interact with you here. Yeah. Having done this for so many years, have there been one or two fan reactions that have really blown your mind when, you're, <laughs> when you get to interact with them? Well, there's always a few conversations every year that makes you laugh. And, uh, but some people, here, you've seen them every year. They're the constant supporter of the, the New York Rangers and the Gardner Greens Foundation. So it's fun. You, you get to know them a little bit. They get to know me a little bit and all the other players. So. But there's definitely a, a few laughs every, every time you go here. It's a Ryan McDonough Casino night. Yeah. Talk to me, what are you doing here? I'm trying to take people's money. I'm the dealer, I'm on the good side right now. <laughs> what game are you doing here? It's, uh, it's blackjack, simple. I'm trying to get 21, but it's not simple when you're out there. It's easy for me as the dealer. <laughs> Being the captain of such a story franchise, what does that mean to you personally? It's a great honor. I mean, this is now my second year, and I definitely feel very comfortable in, in the role now. And uh, if you've been in New York for a while, you understand how passionate the fans are and, and how much they treasure uh, a player that's been in the organization for a long time. So I just try and uh, work hard every day and, and try and meet up to the expectations that the fans want. And it's great to have those high expectations every year. You find out you're traded to the Rangers. What's your reaction? Well, it's uh, it's one of those moments where you, you have some. Uh, bittersweet uh, feelings because uh, I've been in, in Carolina a long time and uh, kind of grew up there as a player but at the same time uh, the excitement opportunity that I'm going to have here is, uh, is something I didn't want to let pass by and um, it's a great team I'm joining I'm just going to try and fit in and do my thing and, and uh, enjoy it. You get to play with your brother not a lot of people get to do that what's it been like and has your brother given you pointers on acclimating to New York? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've been to New York a lot of times, obviously playing against him and uh, knowing the different areas he's lived in and, and uh, watch him get married, start a family, a lot of things that he's been through that uh, for me now having a family, it'll be easier for me to adjust. So, uh, you know, that was just an extra bonus having him here to, to help me adjust. And uh, But the big thing is just enjoying uh, being able to join a great team. Pretty big change from Carolina to New York. What advice did you give him to prepare for the madness that is this? I mean, there really wasn't any. I mean, he's been there for so long, and uh, uh, he's done some great things for the organization, and I think New York's a bit of a different animal, but he's been in the league a very long time. He's seen it all, and, uh, you know, I think he's excited most about playing with our team and playing for the Rangers, and, uh, you know, I'm excited for him. When you look at this organization, what it's able to do, what does it mean to you and your teammates? Oh, I mean, I, I think throughout the year they do so many great things, and uh, tonight's no exception. I mean, it's a, a high-class event that raises a ton of money for a great cause, and uh, we're just happy to be a part of it and, uh, and get to enjoy it with the fans, and uh, it's a pretty, pretty awesome night. Matt, I feel like you got the biggest ovation. The fans love you. What does this fan support mean to you? I mean, obviously, uh, 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 the players uh, wouldn't be the same without the fans who watch hockey, uh, watch the Rangers. Uh, I believe we have the best fans in NHL. Uh, it's super nice and uh, humbling to uh, hear them uh, share your name for sure. Uh, and this uh, event too is so big for us. The Garden of Dreams are so close to the team and, and uh, uh, we do, uh, we work with them the whole year so this is kind of the, the big thing for us to, to uh, uh, gather some money and help out. So I think this is uh, it's, uh, every every guy on the team uh, enjoys this uh, a lot. So I love that you guys get to interact with the fans. What have been the one or two kind of craziest or most fun fan reactions or interactions you've had doing this event? Uh, I mean, we're just there playing at the tables, and uh, I think it's actually the first year Zook is actually like dealing the the cards. So, uh, but it's just nice to meet like all the fans and. 
meet the people and uh, we're, just, we're just here to have fun, you know, it's like a night off for us and we're here to support the cause and that's the most important thing.